I currently am a representative to the National Council, which is the legislature of the Muscogee Creek Nation. I am a former speaker of the legislature. Uh, my family has a uh, strong history in serving uh, in an elected capacity uh, with the Creek Nation. My grandfather was a chief in 1907. His name is Modi Tiger. Uh, on my um, uh, father's side or on my grandpa's side, my father was a resolution writer for the National Council in the 50s. Um, on my mother's side, I had an uncle that served on the advisory council prior to us uh, in 1970 uh, electing our, uh, our council members and our, our leadership with the chief and second chief. Uh, so I'm kind of like the third or fourth generation to uh, have the honor, to, the honor of serving with our tribal government. My brothers and I, in fact this morning we were talking about our grandmother on my mom's side who heard the stories about the Trail of Tears from her grandmother uh, and uh, some of the stories of how some of the songs we sing in our churches, uh, those songs were, for lack of a better term, were developed along the trail to uh, encourage each other on the trail because there were many deaths as you uh, I'm sure have read about. Uh, and it was all about encouraging each other. Uh, they didn't know where they were going. All they knew that they were re being removed. Um, and some of the stories about uh, people dying uh, and not being able to bury them in our traditional way, just leave them on the side of the roads. Uh, those are the type of stories. Uh, uh, you talk about genocide. Uh, you know, a lot of times we hear all the horror st stories during World War II with Hitler. We had that ourselves here in this country uh, because it was such a dark time in our history as well as uh, this country's history that traditionally and culturally uh, our people never really wanted to talk about it. And uh, I think uh, because of that, uh, you know, we were shared uh, with some things about what may have happened uh, or what did happen, but more so it was so bad that they, our, our elders never really wanted to talk about it. It's just like our language. Uh, there's a period of time when uh, uh, my father attended an Indian boarding school, mm -hmm. and if he spoke his language, he was severely disciplined. Mm -hmm. And there's a period of time when, uh, because of that, that there were some families who didn't teach their children to speak Creek mm -hmm. because they didn't want them being confronted with what they were confronted with. Okay. They came from an era when uh, a lot of our traditions and culture uh, were at one time going to be taken away from them. Uh, that's kind of been our lifeline as Indian people. We've always uh, reached back to those teachings that we learn not from books, certainly not from the Oklahoma history books, uh, but from uh, the ability to listen to the stories, uh, the ability to learn our language by not reading in a book, uh, the ability to learn the culture, whether it's at the ceremonial grounds or whether it may be in a, a church setting. Mm -hmm. uh, but those things uh, uh, certainly has, had to be uh, brought to the attention of the general public. Whether it's at a state level or federal level, people that make decisions do not know to a majority uh, about Indian people and how unique we are. Uh, and I believe because of what we've been taught and what's been handed down throughout the generations allows us to still be here today because this federal government that we talk of at one time wanted to just wipe us off the earth. I believe what you're doing is important. Uh, I've always said what Angie Debo did with her books was allowed for our voices to be heard. Uh, she wrote what we felt like need, we ourselves needed to say. And I think that's what you're doing with this project through video, is you're allowing for our story to be told in a more positive way uh, when we haven't had that about this particular subject. And uh, so I, I really feel enlightened, uh, encouraged uh, that uh, you're doing this and uh, I want to encourage you to continue on because this 
is a project that is long overdue. Well, I just want to share this quick story with you, and it's about an Oklahoma history yeah. class. Uh, I remember there was three of us that were native. Uh, one was Choctaw, mm -hmm. one was Navajo, and myself was being Crete. And so the teacher looked at, uh, at us and said, why don't you guys talk Indian to each other? <laughs> and so we all laughed because, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to understand Choctaw or Navajo. They wouldn't be able to understand Creek, you know. And so we, we, we shared that with the teacher. And, well, he didn't realize that. He thought we all talked the same language. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Um, but what I would like to say is, uh, uh, Sabatskas it mahin was it. Yeah, dot kidamija, but do magate and loss. <laughs>